The damn rain is back. The damn rain that held us in these positions on the Luga line for weeks because our vehicles kept getting stuck in the mud is back again. We can't get stuck again in these swamps, not now that we have finally broken through the enemy defenses. We have to keep fighting, we have to keep advancing. Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Raging Bridger campaign in Gravity Team Tactics Mew's Front. Today I think we will have a short battle, because we are fighting on a very small battlefield against only two enemy units, but those two enemy units do have it in them. The enemy has a sapper company here, and at least two heavy artillery guns, really really big guns. And those can cause quite some issues in this um, very close range environment here in the forest. I have a few tanks and a few panzer grenadiers, so let's go to the battlefield and let's show the enemy what we got. They will try to attack in this direction, by the way, so... Well, we won't let them. Here we go, let's start the battle. And it will be quite straightforward. We are actually having at our disposal the two tank units that fought in the previous battle. They were still here on the edge of the forest with their Panzer Grenadiers and I am moving them now northwards. So they are very active today. Once they are in position we will have them sweep northwards into the forest. We do have some scheduled artillery landing here in front of my units. Um, first uh, strike here, then a strike here, and then we will start to move these Panzer Grenadiers forwards until we can find the enemy sappers. So that's the plan more or less. The tanks will support a bit and the infantry will do the main job. It will be interesting once we run into the enemy guns. Because those things, they are beasts. Okay, the first artillery strike is arriving. The weather is still absolutely terrible and it will remain that way. At least for now. But still, should be able. Where the hell is that landing? Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Where did that land? Yeah, I artilleried myself. The strike was not precise enough. Damn, I cannot cancel this. So I think we have one more salvo coming in, yeah. Oh, that, that wounded some man for sure. We do have at least one killed. And quite a lot of them will be wounded, I can imagine. Dude. That was a close one, wasn't it, huh? Didn't see that coming. Neither did I. Good that I only called in three rounds per gun and not more. Oh, man. Not good. But yeah, it happens. It just happens. A little friendly fire incident. It's not too terrible. Let's hope that the next strike is, well, closer to its target. That would be lovely. Here it comes. Let's observe this. Where is it? Well, yeah, that's more or less on target. Good job. Very good job. Okay. Still terrible weather. Oh, we are encountering enemies up here. We are actually encountering enemies. 
So I have to change the trajectory of these units here. Let these pioneers advance in this direction. Although the enemy seems to be moving over here. Well, they ran into a few Panzer III, so that will be very uncomfortable for them. Okay, we can send in these Panzer Grenadiers. They should be able to clean up the enemy. However, these Panzer Grenadiers, they do have half tracks, but you do not want to send in the half tracks in front of the infantry. Because that usually does not work out well. Let's send them in like this. So the soldiers, they should move in front of the half tracks, I hope. What units are those? Okay, these are just some broken tanks. Never mind. Uh, the truck, he's not going anywhere. Units out here in the open, and I imagine that artillery strike was very much close to them, so good job. And they are walking into the fire of my anti-tank guns that are stationed here. Oh, they are so not having a good time. Yeah. You are not surviving a walk into the fire of my anti-tank guns. That's not happening. That really is not happening. Oh, that gun over there on that side is really laying into them. Good job. I believe they have been smacked. Yeah. They are done. Let's move in the Panzer Grenadiers to make sure that they are finished. Okay, you guys. Without the damn truck. Oh no, there's still more of them. And there will be an artillery strike coming down on their heads. But I will have my Panzer Grenadiers move up regardless. By the way, I do have a mortar battery on standby. Can the spotter see these guys? No, he can't. Why not? Uh, could you maybe look their way? That would help. You should be able to see them. I did not uh, order a zero in fire mission. And I believe they are... Yeah, it's, it's the damn fog. The damn rain. It's hiding them from the spotter. Okay, so we are not going to use him for this. Over here, the enemy infantry seems to run right into the open arms of my Panzer Grenadiers, which I appreciate very much. Why should we hunt them when they come to us? Okay, you guys, you can start a movement into the forest. Be shy. And these Panzer Grenadiers, they can do the same. Start to move up. The enemy infantry is having such a bad time. Mostly due to my anti-tank guns. They are suppressing them very nicely. You can see that my Panzer Grenadiers are receiving basically no return fire at the moment. So we really are breaking up the enemy attack before it even starts properly. 
good job. Very much a good job. Yeah, the enemy is already offering up a ceasefire. Over here in the forest, we are doing well. My infantry has now made contact with the enemy soldiers. Uh, it's of course a scout group. What else? Who else would be running through the forest like a headless chicken? It's the Soviet scouts. While my half tracks are staying back like this, they are able to use their machine guns to good effect. Like so. This is a good position for the half track. The enemy does not have any heavy weapons apparently, so the half track can just sit here and hose them down with the machine gun. That's working really well. We are receiving sporadic fire from the enemy, but it's nothing major. It's nothing major at all. Okay, there's an enemy group here. Now that might be a possible target for the mortar. Nah. Still out of line of sight, are they? <sighs> yeah. Barely. Can I maybe... Should I just a quick strike to demobilize the enemy? Let's call it in. To break up their formation. Um, for this to work, you guys need to take it slow, please. Don't get too close to the enemy too fast. We will have mortar rounds landing on them in just a moment. By the way, I should really move up this spotter. Where is he? Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, here you are. You are to move to... Yeah, to where? Maybe move to here. to there. See if you can give better support from that position. Okay, the mortar strike should start to land very soon, which will be really helpful against these enemies. They are receiving a lot of fire, but they are still fighting back. Quite determined, to be honest. But once the mortar start to land, it should discourage them and make them fall back. And that's really all I need at the moment. Come on, where's the mortar fire? We are taking some losses here because of this enemy group. And because of this one, I believe. Let's see, can we call in a strike towards these guys? Not at the moment, we can't. He has no vision. Yeah, no vision at all. Come on, where are the mortar rounds? Ah, oh, there they come. Well, the strike is quite dispersed. This half trick is quite in trouble, I would say. You are not in a good position, main. You really aren't. 
But now that the enemy is suppressed again, let's turn this off and let's have my infantry push. And let's also this unit continue its push. Hey guys. Uh, stay on the offensive attack. Okay, over here. Everything seemed to work out. And we can continue the advance into the forest and ultimately into the enemy's rear. So you guys with the tanks in front, please. Also, you're free to maneuver, yes, of course. Move to there. You guys will move to here. This unit. I want you guys to move in this direction. And this unit. You guys will move to here. We will keep tightening the noose. Ah, well, it sucks if you don't have any heavy weapons, huh? Suddenly these half trucks with the machine guns are dangerous. Huh, and this one with the gun, shooting at very close range, oh my god. Very dangerous situation for the half trick gunners as well. But they are fighting and they are taking out the enemy. Putting them under a lot of pressure. That's what is required right now. But yeah, the enemy is now starting to fight back with hand grenades against the half tricks. As long as the hand grenades are far falling here on the front of the half track, it can take it. But if they land a grenade inside of it, that's a different matter. And here this machine gunner, he is actually dangerous. But he is now also running away. Uh, here we have lost the guy. And the enemy is fighting. They are not giving up. Not easily. We actually have to fight for this victory. Which is good. Yeah, they have no chance. Oh, look at that. More enemies here. Uh, do we have some tanks to pluck this gap? I believe we do. Tanks. Move in here. Support that. These tanks are intact as well. Move. The enemy is really getting suppressed right now. I believe their fighting spirit will be broken in a minute or two. They won't resist for much longer. They won't be able to. It's too much. It's simply too much. Too much fire, too many enemies that are going at them. And so I should start to see surrenders here pretty soon. Did I just see a big boom inside the forest here? Or is that just hand grenades? I believe it's just hand grenades for now. We still did not encounter the enemy guns. Come on, surrender. Surrender already. There's nothing for you to gain here anymore.
Yeah, the enemy unit here that has been giving us so much trouble has been basically wiped out. Captives taken. Yeah, there we go. He surrendered. Just as I thought he would. And it was really the only option left to him, if we're honest. Okay. Yes, some enemies are managing to slip through. Of course, it's scouts. Who else? But they... Ah, then they won't be able to achieve anything. I have my tanks here, and my tanks will catch them. Catch them, defeat them, kill them. So far, so good. I should move this unit with the combat engineers. Should move them in this direction. Yeah. Let's close the gap to the other unit here. Because there there's a lot of enemy soldiers in the way. So let's make sure that we get those. Once again, some are managing to sneak through, for now. Do I have other units that I can bring in to clean those guys up? Uh, here's a tank that I started to move. Why is it all the way back here? Good question, I don't know. But it's moving forward now. Who are you and why are you moving? Why were you all the way back there? Hmm, I didn't spot that at the start of the battle, but it doesn't matter, the enemy is retreating. And I did not even encounter the big guns. Um, that saddens me a bit, I was looking forward to taking out those things, making sure that the enemy does not have access to them anymore. But okay, we have taken some losses. Um, it's always, once you fight Soviets inside the forest, their PPSH is... Um, they will do some damage. It's inevitable. And here, well, some of these enemy units made made a good showing. But it's not enough. It's not enough, they know it, and so they are running away. Dispersing, but look at this cluster of commanders here. And here are trucks. Okay, the guns have to be nearby. The guns have to be very much nearby. If there are trucks, the guns can't be far. If the guns are really here. Maybe I've destroyed them earlier, I don't know. I lost count of all the enemy anti-tank guns and artillery guns that I destroyed. It has been a lot in this campaign. The Soviets in this campaign, they don't have many tanks, but they really have a large number of guns. Let's kill a few more enemies. That's nice. And let's observe this advance. Oh, it's a flamethrower. It's a shame that we don't see this guy do something. But okay. Here are the results. We have taken 17 casualties. They have taken 60. So the ratio is not as good as in the previous battle. But they have been mauled. Can't say it any other way. Yeah, good results. Quick look on the battlefield. What did we face here? So we faced a sapper battalion, machine gun unit. Okay, they had Maxims. Oh, okay. So maybe that's where my casualties come from. Well, not from those two at least. They didn't really do anything. First machine gun platoon, okay, now we're talking. 
more Maxims, but apparently these guys got taken out before they could do anything. This machine gun killed three soldiers. This one killed one soldier. And this one, this one managed to do damage. 12 soldiers killed. Yeah, okay. So I did underestimate the enemy a little bit. I imagined that I was up against sappers, not against machine guns. My bad. And of course we have... Okay, this is the headquarters unit of the heavy artillery regiment. Aha, uh -huh, that's interesting. And some of them are still alive, including... Now the recon guys have been killed. So they did not have guns in the area after all. It was just the headquarters element. I must have taken out the guns earlier. And what are those? These are... Infantry that is attached to the heavy artillery regiment. Just some riflemen that tried to fight me. And they also had a truck with them. Yeah, I knew it. I saw more trucks. So who do these things belong to? To this unit. Okay. Just a few transports. Nothing fancy. Alright. With that, let's go back to the operation. And see what we achieved. Battle groups routed, both of them. The area has been secured. So that was it for that battle. I think it was an interesting one. Do you think so as well? It is a short one, but still nice. How do you like those shorter battles, by the way? Um, leave me feedback in the comments. I'm very curious to hear what you think. Next time, we will be fighting a similar battle down here in the south. We won't have any tanks or heavy weapons. We do not know what the enemy brings. We just have our scout unit here. And that scout unit will try to stop or to destroy whatever is hiding here. So, make sure to not miss that. Subscribe to the channel. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, have some great days and... Goodbye.